Serafina, it's clear from our early interactions with Coach Brown that WVU not only got a successful football coach to be the 35th leader of the Mountaineers, but got a very sincere man. Coach Brown today at his introductory press conference talked about his vulnerability and how it's helping him make connections with the players on this team. So a final thought with WVU Athletic Director Shane Lyons. Coach Brown's still undefeated, Shane. Uh, <laughs> how excited are you to see him get out there and coach his first game against the Dukes? Well, he's met every expectation I've had, you know, as a coach coming in. The Neil Brown era in Morgantown opens with a victory and country roads. West Virginia, a 20 to 13 winner in its regular season opener at Milan Pushkar Stadium. But as advertised, earning a victory against FCS number two, James Madison, didn't come easily. That stat about true three and outs, that's an impressive stat. And that's why my keys today follow a theme of first. West Virginia will have to win on first down and win in the first quarter in order to compete in this game. So why win on first downs? Well, Iowa Iowa State is averaging 8.4 yards per touch from scrimmage. That's top 15 nationally, and that leads to a lot of manageable situations on second and third down. It's up to the Mountaineers to get some push on first down plays to try to slow the Cyclones down to create more third and long situations. An elite group of Mountaineers are honored on this wall in the WVU Basketball Hall of Traditions, from Hot Rod Hunley to Jerry West, and most recently, Javon Carter, who owns one of college college basketball's most unique records. Carter's basketball journey has taken him to Memphis, where he's in the midst of his rookie season with the Grizzlies. We caught up with JC last month, and he tells us he's still learning every day and still loving Mountaineer Nation. When Javon Carter played at WVU, he was a star. <laughs> Now the former Mountaineer great is in the midst of his rookie season with the Memphis Grizzlies. It's a new opportunity, challenging and rewarding to play the game he loves. I'm just taking it day by day, uh, learning as much as I can from uh, guards like Mike Conley, Avery Bradley, stuff like that, and just doing whatever I can to help. Our guest probably needs no introduction, but I'll give him one anyway. Pat McAfee, former Mountaineer punter turned multimedia celebrity. Pat, before we get into the football, I want to ask you this. It's been well documented that even when you were a punter in Morgantown, that you've had a dream of being a talk show host. Did your time at WVU and the people that you surrounded yourself with did they help you get to this career success that you're enjoying now? Yeah, there's a guy named Murph that hangs around the football team. He was big in the, uh, back when MSN was happening, and he's big in the camera world. And I actually interned with him for a semester, and that was when I really found my love for, you know, the potential camera and talking in a microphone. So I could say that West Virginia is the home for that. You've talked in the past about building the program here, Coach. You're using terms, branding it with grit, accountability, words that will sound familiar to folks who are longtime fans of the Mountaineers. Is there a tie in there to your time at West Virginia? Well, it's Coach Huggins. Um, you know, it's his style. It's, it's who we are. George has made as much improvement at the receiver position from July until now of anybody I've ever coached. It's top praise from a head coach once known as Touchdown Neil Brown during his playing days. In just one season with WVU football, grad transfer George Campbell has become a scoring machine. During his three seasons at Florida State, Campbell struggled with injuries and never scored a touchdown. This year, though, Campbell has become an integral part of the Mountaineer offense. When Carter played his final game at the WVU Coliseum last February, he said he couldn't find the words to describe what being a Mountaineer means to him. A year later, he says he still can't describe it, but anytime he talks about the Mountaineers and their fans, his face lights up with a smile. It's always uh, good to see uh, the, West Virginia, the West Virginia fans in the crowd. Just thanks for the love and support, and um, I miss them.